This question is like completing a jigsaw. The shape on the left is the target shape. The target shape is made by adding pieces together. One of these pieces is given to the right of the equal sign. You have to work out which piece or set of pieces needs to be added to it to complete the target shape. The piece or set of pieces may need to be rotated, spun around, before they can be added. Select the correct piece or set of pieces from the five options to the right of the addition sign. In order to answer this question, we're going to consider which one of these answer options represents the collection of shapes which should be added to this shape to create this target shape. In other words, this shape added to one of these groups of shapes will go together like a jigsaw puzzle to create the target shape, which as you can see is a square. The shapes may have rotated, so they could be in the wrong orientation. To help us answer the question accurately, we can take a closer look at this section. Like this. As you can see, if I place this shape into the target shape, then there will be spaces where other shapes will be needed to create the complete target shape. To show this more clearly, I can shade the shape a different colour and then lift it and place it into the target shape. The problem arises when we need to make a decision about where to place this shape and consider the white shaded areas which remain. If we remind ourselves of those answer options though, you can see that in every one of them there is a small square shape. To create this small square shape, it will mean that I need to position this shaded shape towards this side of the target shape, meaning that the three shapes we're going to consider are this triangle, this square and this shape in this arrangement. Of course, those shapes might have rotated to help us, we can consider the rotated versions of these shapes and look again at the answer options. So, in other words, those shapes could be in this orientation as we just saw, or they might have rotated and could be in any one of these orientations too. The five answer options look like this. In option A, as you can see, for that longer shape to be towards the left of the collection, the square and the triangle would need to be positioned like this. In A, this is the case. A could be the right answer. All of the elements of these shapes appear to be correct, and they all have the same or correct relationship to one another, as they do here. In option B, for this longer shape to be towards the top, the triangular point or section would need to be here. As you can see, this is incorrect, and even though the triangle and square are correctly placed, because of this part of the shape being wrong, B cannot be the right answer. In option C, you can see the square positioned here, but in all of the versions we've created, the square is always in the corner of the formation, never halfway down one of the sides, therefore C cannot be the right answer. In option D, for the shapes to be positioned like this, this triangular section or point of this longer shape would need to be in this orientation, and in D it's the opposite way round, so D is incorrect too. In option E, for the longer shape to be here, you can see once again the triangular section is incorrect, it should be positioned like this, so E cannot be the right answer either. It means then that option A was indeed the correct answer here. This collection of shapes could be added to the original shape we were presented with in order to create the target shape a little like a jigsaw puzzle. Top tip. The answer options you are presented with might be quite similar. Focus on the distinctive features of the shape and look for them amongst the answer options remembering that they may be in a different orientation. Now you can try a second similar question. Remember, this question is like completing a jigsaw. The shape on the left is the target shape. The target shape is made by adding pieces together. One of these pieces is given to the right of the equal sign. 
you have to work out which piece or set of pieces needs to be added to it to complete the target shape. The piece or set of pieces may need to be rotated, spun around, before they can be added. Select the correct piece or set of pieces from the five options to the right of the addition sign. In order to answer this second similar question, you should try to establish which one of these answer options represents the shape which should be added to this shape to create this target shape. Remembering of course that the shape might be in the wrong orientation, so it might need to rotate to fit into this position. When you're ready, pause the video and try to work out the right answer to this question. You should try to do that within 30 seconds, and when you've finished working, you can resume the video and we'll check the answer together. In order to answer the question accurately, we can take a closer look at this section. Like this. We know then that we're going to add a shape in this position with this shape in order to create the target shape. To show the shape we're looking for more clearly, if I shade this shape a different colour and place it over the target shape like this, noticing of course there is only one position this shape can fit into the target shape, then you can hopefully see that the white shaded section represents the shape we're looking for. In other words, this shape, added to this one like a jigsaw piece, creates the target shape. Remember though, this shape might have rotated, so we should bear that in mind as we look at the answer options, paying attention to the features of the shape and their relationship to one another. These features will still share the same relationships even if the shape has rotated. So we know then that the shape might be in its original orientation, or it might have rotated 90 degrees anti-clockwise or 180 degrees, or 90 degrees clockwise, or any other number of degrees, the shape can indeed be in any orientation amongst these five answer options. In option A, as you can see, for the shape to be orientated like this, it would need to look like this. Although the shape may appear to be correct, consider this section. In the shape we're looking for, you can see the dimension of this part of the shape. It's quite a similar width or depth to this part of the shape. Now look at A. It's much narrower here than it should be, so A cannot be correct. In option B, it's this part of the shape which is wrong. Consider this section, which should form a point with these two lines, but as you can see, this is not present in B. In option C, it's this part of the shape which is missing, so C can't be correct. In option D though, hopefully you can recognise that all of the features of the shape are present exactly as they should be, having the right relationship to one another and the correct dimensions. So D could be the right answer. In option E, this section of the shape appears incorrect. This is how it should be, with this right angle here but in E there is no right angle. Therefore, E cannot be the right answer, and it means that D was indeed the correct answer to the question. D represents the shape we would need to add to the original shape we were given in this orientation in order to create that target shape. Top tip. The shape you are looking for will most likely have rotated 90 degrees or 180 degrees, but it could also have rotated 45 degrees or 135 degrees too. Remember to look for the same features sharing the same relationship, even if the shape has rotated.